thus I continued my journey towards the town which I wanted to get to in the night. I decided to consult my map to make sure I knew where I was going. It was 9.44 in the PM as I found out through my magical watch inside of my journal. I heard it was an atomic journal that is accurate to one one thousandth of a second every millennia. Perhaps it had been passed down my family for generations and I didn't know because I was a poor, poor orphan whose family got burninated by... Barbarians, perhaps? Wolves? Sheepmen? Dogs of war. I don't even know. I found a diseased deer which I had killed earlier. This led me to believe that I was on the correct path. And indeed I was, for I saw a dock and a man with a torch. This put me back to the town of Gilead where I had hoped I had not committed any crimes against Crown or otherwise. The guard had no time for me as he was on duty. I decided to leave that ruffian and investigate. There was the man who tried to sell me a donkey still standing much in the same place, and a guard staring at the donkey. Excuse me, sir, why are you looking at asses? He is on duty, sir. Um. Attention. Magic. Users, possibly? Um. Magic. Forbidden, magic forbidden, uh, building magics forbidden, and meetings of mages are forbidden, I guess? I don't know, close enough. Whatever. I'm good. Uh, God, I feel like, so I feel like I'm really missing out on some stuff. Oh, dear lord. Keine Zeit, ich bin... The mid realm soldier also had no time for me as he was on duty. I questioned whether I should attempt to kill this man for his really awesome helmet. I decided to try it. All of a sudden I was swarmed by a flurry of men and killed within two hits. I realized that the guards here were stronger than I remembered them, and that I was at half health. Also, I could not use magics within the town. Uh, you're protected. Alright. So the government is properly protecting us against magic by using towers. And these towers will sound the alarm if they hear magic nearby. I found some graves and a rabbit. The rabbit ran away and I decided to follow it. Perhaps I would find the hole to Wonderland somewhere. The bloody thing was fast and carried me towards a waterfall. Ooh, kind of pretty. Kind of like it. It's nice. That's a nice touch. This world just in general seemed to be very, very handcrafted and very well built. Mm -hmm. I found the secondary entrance to the spider cave and decided to investigate what could be in a cave full of spiders. Perhaps I would find some spiders and, oh dear lord, spider webs. Ugh. Hate fucking spider webs. There were spider webs everywhere in this cave of spiders. I found it rather hard to avoid walking uh, into one of them. And I used my sword at every opportunity to slash through the sticky, gooey substance 
secreted out of the spider's ass. Yes. I had found the secondary entrance to the spider cave, the one that led here from the town, and I wondered why anyone would want to come to such a place. Perhaps I would find another man as stupid or bold as myself wandering through here. I found a cross spider. Perhaps that meant that he was shaped like a cross or that he was very angry. Either way, I did not care. The spider bled like a stuck pig all the way down the stone corridor. I found myself slipping on the blood, but I was still able to grab his venom sack. Before slashing through some more webs that were in my way, I found yet another one of these cross spiders. <laughs> I found that if I hit the spider hard enough, he would be pushed away from me and could not attack. While whilst killing spiders, I discovered that I had enough experience to gain a level. Quite useful, really. Ah, and I found that I had quite a good deal of stolen items in my possession. Perhaps somebody would... Ooh, a spider cocoon. I found that I could extract things like spider silk from these cocoons, and I also wondered what could be in them. Perhaps something of the vampiric nature. Or a spider. Vampires strike me as more romantic, though, so I think I'll stick with those. As I advanced forward through the cave of vampire de degeneracy, I found there was less and less light and more and more spider webs. Also, another spider. The spiders did not have a choice but to fall at my ceaseless onslaught. And the spider webs didn't have a choice either as I was able to clear this place without getting into s too many of them. Ah! All of a sudden I was swarmed by a bevy of four cross spiders. These spiders really were quite cross with me. I would only assume it is because I have gone through their land, called them vampires, killed their kind, slashed their webs which they used to trap prey, and looted the cocoons of their young. However, that's still no reason to attack me. I mean, good sir, certainly we could settle this with an intelligent debate. For we are both semi-intelligent creatures, crosses though you may be. Remember, vote and not in anger. I continued to slash the endless onslaught of spiders and it seemed like when one fell there were no new ones to replace it, which was quite nice actually. And after a while I found that all the spiders were dead except for one last one that had scuttled away from the fight in fear. I found more cocoons containing even more spider silk. I wondered what I could use all of this spider silk for. And I decided that I'd probably end up selling it to somebody who could use it to craft me some spider silk armor. Continue to make my way through the cave, slashing through more and more of the spider's webs. And looting and looting all of their cocoons. I found yet another cross spider that had not joined the battle beforehand. In a single combat I slew the creature and continued to loot the cocoons. After I was done with this place I was quite certain there would be no spiders left alive. Or any spider children, spider webs, or spider silk, or spider cocoons left untouched. 
I would indeed single-handedly destroy this race of angry spiders. And prove to them f once and for all that opposable thumbs are the pinnacle of evolution. The spider webs grew denser and closer together as I went further and further down the halls. <laughs> However, there seemed to be no more large groups of spiders that I had encountered quite yet. But it continued to get darker and darker until I found yet another gathering of cocoons with more spider silk in them. And the skeleton of the skeleton of a man who bore two pieces of set armor. Interesting. Interesting indeed. I also found a sack with a lockpick and some gold in it. Certainly I could use this lockpick for some greater good. There was also quite a redundant part of the spider cave. Hmm. Ah, and another direction in which I could go to loot more of these spider cocoons. Perhaps I would find a symbol, a U-shaped symbol here indeed. As I continued through the cave, I noticed that the cocoon started to cover the floor, and with each step, my path got more and more difficult as my feet stuck to the sticky coating most inescapable and well bloody hell everywhere I continued to slash away at these spiders with the strongest attacks that I could knowing that eventually they would bleed out and die however I was also low on health yet again So I found myself in need of casting a blessing to restore my health using the divine powers. I found more iron arrows, which was quite pleasing, as well as a chest with a cheap potion of reflection. And more cocoons containing spider silk, which weighed half a feather. Brilliant stuff. As I predicted, I also managed to find a U-shaped symbol and yet another redundant dead end. So I decided to take my leave of this place. Having looted everything and killed everything. Now the town would be much better off and there would be no more spider problem for these poor settlers to deal with. For who could have guessed that their leader had led them to settle a spider cave infested place. And my way back I was able to run through the place knowing that I had slashed through all of the webs and would get stuck on none of them. So upon last exiting this cave I encountered a most curious blue screen presumably of death. Also a giant tarantula roamed the city and the guards killed it saving us all. Sorry, guard, I did not know you were on duty. Let's see, what's going on? Oh, wow, that's actually... Ooh. Nah, don't need that. Hmm, cart with a lot of empty sacks in it. Indeed. My favorite kind of cart. I did not know what the point of this track junction was. Maybe maybe the carts were intended to go along this track and then crash into this wall. Or perhaps they were intended to go straight and stop here. Hmm. This was certainly a most curious kind of setup. I also happened to have found some other items that would possibly make me rich if I was able to sell them to somebody in good disposition. Hmm. Found a door to a certain Golag's house. 